house is new. This camera angle is weird. I'm changing it. is going on this is gonna be the first vlog of December or whatever I am going to make my own Christmas decorations I am making this a tradition for myself to make my own Christmas decorations because I just really like to do it and it's super fun so I want to make Christmas stockings um, a happy holidays garland Christmas wreath hopefully I can do all of these really good yeah let's just get right into that motherfucker oh my god there's one more thing I do want to make I want to make a Christmas sign myself so I don't know which way it's supposed to go but I'm gonna use this my mom had an extra one so I'm gonna use this one make a Christmas sign myself and I have a bunch of ones that I kind of want to make I just haven't decided on which one if you've seen last year's video I tested out a Christmas tool what is what if you saw last year's Christmas video, I kind of flopped making DIY Christmas decorations. I might do a three page wreath because I want it to be kind of big because my door is kind of big. But honestly, this isn't really much of a vlog. It's more of just like a sit down, but I wanted to make this for you guys because this isn't going to be like a serious video or anything. It's just me crafting with you guys. So with the Christmas wreath, you have to fold the paper hot dog ways and then you cut on the edge of the fold. So the fold is this way. But when you do that, I suggest you grab some type of ruler. This is a, this isn't a ruler, but I suggest you just use this and you make little notches on where you want to make the cuts. If you make it uneven, it might be a little bit harder to manage. are done now I'm just gonna draw the lines so once I finish the lines I will take you guys to the next step so I'll be right back So now you open it and I'm going to flip it over and you take like the ones that have the pencils side on it and you have to like curl it so it's this part is a little bit difficult so I'm going to set some tape up on the middle part because the middle part is the hardest part to curl.
is I'm going to do the stockings because the stockings I know is going to be easy because I do these all the time. And then I'm just going to draw. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Okay, so I have the first one penciled out and I'm going to use this one. as a stencil okay so I have my three little socks and now I am going to, I'm following this picture that I have right here because honestly it's actually really, really cute. Maybe I'll use the green glitter for the sock bottoms. Okay, my camera died and now I am in class but I already did everything I had to do so right now I'm just kind of finishing some of my Christmas decorations. Let me just show y'all. So I started writing out the lettering and then this is what they look like. They're fucking huge. And I also started writing out my sign. I don't know if you guys can see it all that well, but it's just a super simple sign. I'm gonna use just white paint on it to get that contrast i wanted to keep it neutral because our living room colors are neutral but i'm just currently sharpening sharpieing them out i already did mine this is my mom's one <laughs> I'm going to start doing the happy holiday lettering garland part. That part I am going to do in red letters because my room lacks a lot of red and since it's very like pop, I want to make it pop. I just don't know how... I might do like a 70s happy holidays, you know, the keep on trucking font. And I'm just gonna stencil them out. Okay, so I just finished it, the lettering. I can't really see it because of the light, but these are just the basic letters that I need right now because some of these letters are doubled, so I can stencil it. So I'm going to cut out the ones that I need now. There's two H's, two A's, two Y. Okay, so I have the letters and I'm about to cut them so I can show you guys like what kind of font I'm talking about. Why does that accent just come out of the blue like that? Like do y'all do that too? Because I do it all the freaking time where my a different accent comes out when I'm talking and it's 100% unintentional and I've always done this since I was like a child I don't know why I've done it though I've never really met people until like a few years ago a couple years ago who have different accents besides pigeon so it's just kind of weird how and speaking in a different accent that I've never really heard of before. I don't know if that's like a thing or maybe I just hit my head a little bit too hard sometimes when I, cause I'm super clumsy. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and I'm gonna do these. Um, so I explained kind of earlier what I was gonna do. So I'm just gonna punch a hole like that, just a small little hole. This 
is a really good hole puncher. So I'm just gonna punch a hole and then I'm gonna get my twine, this one, and I'm just gonna cut, cut right there, and then I'm just gonna cut, okay, right there, right there, right there. So I am making the little handle part. I'm just gonna use the twine because it's not gonna be something too major. So I just made it a little tiny, nothing major, just so that it can hang. So this one's mine. But yeah, just wanted it cute and simple. So now I'm just gonna go back into what I was originally doing and I'm gonna cut out these letters. Um, I just wanted to pop in here because honestly I feel like this holiday season is gonna be better than any holiday season I've experienced so far. And now I am going to grab my twine and start rolling it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so I just finished the garland. I'm actually going to put it up now. So it is kind of low. So I think I'm just going to put it right here. This lighting is so awkward, but I feel like I look cute. So I'm going to take these stockings and like I said, I'm going to put them right here. I am exhausted. I've been filming all day just for this one quote unquote vlog <sighs> I'm tired but I finished my sign this is her she, I think it came out really good I might have to say it on myself or whatever but that sign is gonna go in the living room where we have our other sign so on that note I'm gonna end the video here it was actually really fun making this video I actually had a really fun time making it the fact that that is over there and that like everything I made was on my own except for the wooden sign but I did paint on it I'm just really really proud of myself honestly so I'm gonna end the video right here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the first quote-unquote vlog of December if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did also hit that subscribe button because we've been posting two times a week and we're gonna keep posting two times a week until we can't post two times a week no more. I am going to go make the thumbnail for this video. And I am going to clean and lie down for a little bit. Because my back is sore from slouching so long. But I hope you guys have an amazing night, day, week, whenever the fuck time you guys are watching this. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. With a new motherfucking video, bitch. Uh. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Bye.